Marvel's been dominating our cinemas ever since 2008's Iron Man. We're on the 14th Marvel film and so far they're yet to make a bad one. Doctor Strange is no exception. I just want to quickly credit Steve Ditko for creating the character. He created the original comic book back in the 60s. I don't know why, but for whatever contractual reason, Steve Ditko isn't credited anywhere on the film. He did create the original comic and he's also the co-creator of Spider-Man, which is cool. Now, Stephen Strange, he's kind of a rock star surgeon, evidently one of the best in his fields, he's very cocky, he's very confident after a car accident damages his hands, leaving him out of work. He looks for alternative healing practices. He visits the Ancient One and goes through a sort of mystical Batman Begins type process and thus Doctor Strange is born. Now, the Ancient One who serves as his mentor in this film is an old Asian man who is played by... Tilda Swinton? I guess I see the resemblance. Visually, this film is amazing. The CGI is very convincing. It looks consistent all the way through. It looks realistic, as realistic as it can look with what they're doing. It's very creative. It's sort of like a superhero inception. There's buildings falling on each other and stuff like that. Benedict Cumberbatch was a great choice for Doctor Strange. Not only does he look the part, but he plays the part brilliantly. It was a lot more comedic than I originally went into it expecting. I didn't expect as many jokes as there were. I didn't expect Doctor Strange to be as witty as it was. The humour was definitely very Robert Downey Jr. It was very Iron Man and I can see why Marvel did that. It seems like an intentional move as Iron Man is taking a step back in the movies and Marvel's gearing up for the next phase of films. There is going to be another sort of leader to the Marvel characters. And it seems like they're gearing Doctor Strange up to be that. Especially an end credit scene, which I'm not going to spoil. We also get Mordor and Dormammu in this film. Now, I was expecting Mordor. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting Dormammu. I thought they'd save him for a sequel. To Doctor Strange, he is what Joker is to Batman. It is his kind of big villain. I guess they would do it for a first film. But I always thought they were going to save him for something a little bigger, maybe a second or third film. But it was great to see him. I'm sure he's going to pop up again. I don't doubt that. Essentially, Marvel did what they do best. They told a good story with a balance between action, comedy and drama. We also get a nod to the Avengers, which were nice. They were mentioned in name. But this also brings up a little bit of an issue for me. My gripe with this film is how thick the magic is laid on, how, how important it is. And I know that sounds like a contradiction with everything I've just said about the film being visually beautiful and all those things, but hear me out. Like I said in the beginning, this is the 14th Marvel film. We're 14 movies deep and only now are we getting to magic. Now, I wouldn't have an issue with Doctor Strange having so much magic in it if there was magic in these other films. We're talking the 14th movie in and we're only really discovering that magic is a real thing in the Marvel Universe. Now, in other films when things are happening that are kind of out of the laws of nature, when Thor's doing something that's different, it's not considered magic, it's just considered science from his world. It's science in his realm. There's science everywhere and it works differently in different, on different planets and different universes, but it's never magic. Now, in this film, it's actual magic. Magic is a heavy part of it. Where was magic in the other Marvel movies? When the Avengers are trying to save the world from annihilation, where was magic? Because if you have a universe where magic exists and it is this strong as it's presented in Doctor Strange, then why are the people protecting the planet got a bow and arrow, an iron suit and the strongest frisbee in the world? Apart from the sudden existence of magic in the MCU, I absolutely love Doctor Strange. I think it's a great film. I can't wait for Doctor Strange to actually start interacting with the other heroes in the Marvel Universe. I can't wait to see other characters pop up in his films. So I'm definitely giving this a sweet rating. 4 out of 5 popcorns. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Adults and kids will enjoy it. It's a good film. It fits into the Marvel Universe. Kind of. Have you seen this film? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Follow us on our socials. Let me know. And I'll see you next week for another review. Peace.